floppy hat photos back here again for their random rant and today's random rant is about doing something for somebody that means the world to you even though it's not something you would personally want to be doing and it's you know you're doing it for them they know you're doing it for them but you still go do it anyway you put on a smile and you do it because it makes them happy and that's one of the things it requires if you want to be in I guess just to show them how much they mean to you how much everything you know in life is worth so today I'm actually heading down towards Kansas City area to spend some time with a very special person in my life that means so much to me it's one of those things it's hard to tell people and it's hard to put in words and that but I'm going down to attend um, their son's wedding and I'm not a wedding dude. I'm really not the guy who's into weddings and that. But it happens. So I thought, what the hell? I'll go down. I'll spend a few a couple days kind of helping out, getting some things done around there and the wedding. And then I think as of right now, the plan is to spend the next week there and at their place. And then I'm going to head over on down into the Lee Summit area and help my cousin move. That's why I'm driving the van today, not the car. Um, got a, They bought a new place and they get closing on it here coming up. I think like the 18th, 19th, something like that. So we're gonna move a bunch of like the boxes and stuff that are in the way and the van will haul them really well. So we're gonna get those moved over there and probably make three or four trips to that, get the, the smaller, easier stuff to move out of the way. And then from there, we will proceed on to Saturday we're going to end up bringing in the U-Haul truck and actually doing the big stuff, refrigerators, couches, all the heavy, heavy stuff. So that's the goal. Um, super excited about the move thing too. I mean, it's I'm not a big fan of moving, but it's one of those things I'm able to help my cousin out. She's an awesome person. I love my cousin to death. And that's another example, whether it be a romantic relationship or like with your cousin, the wedding is for somebody I'm romantically involved in right now and somebody I love to death and the cousin is somebody I love death, but a totally different way, clearly. But that right there is one of those things you just help out people that are in your life. And even though I'd never ask my cousin to help me move because it's all a fact of just the time frame and whatnot, them getting off work and all that kind of deal, I know if it came down to it and I needed somebody for something, she would drop whatever she had to to help me out any way possible. So, and it's one of those deals that's just, you know, the moving thing, it's not anything anybody wants to do at all. It's never going to be fun. Same as a wedding. Weddings aren't fun either, but it's nice to do that for somebody else and to be able to, I guess, just go spend time with them and help them out. Let them know that you are there for them. Whatever the heck needs to be done, you're willing to step up and do it. So that right there is one of those things that happens. And I'm just really looking forward to this week. It'll give me a lot of time to spend with my, um, I guess, I just hate the term girlfriend, but the lady I'm seeing, let's put it that way. My the the lady that I'm dating or whatever you want to call it. So that'll be interesting down there at that time frame. I'm gonna have, I don't know, about 10 days or so with them, and then I gotta head back up and then I have surgery on my foot, which is gonna be fun, actually both feet, but that's something as of right now, it sounds like they're gonna come back up to Iowa and basically drive me home from surgery and that kind of thing too. So it's one of those things where I'm sure they don't want to drive me home from surgery. But it's one of those things that that's what they do when you're in a relationship. Going down and going to a wedding is something you do for them when you're in a relationship. So definitely, it's not about a give and take. Don't keep score. Don't do that kind of crap. Just realize the fact that in the process, you have to sometimes just be willing to do stuff that you don't normally want to do. Because I've done it in the past. I'm sure we all have at some point in the past. You're like, oh, I don't want to do that. I don't like those people. I don't like that part of your family. I don't like that you know, group of friends, coworkers, whatever, and you just avoid them. Then you realize the fact by not spending time with your partner, your spouse, your date, your whatever the heck it is, your significant other, that you end up alienating yourself and then it just drives a little wedge inside there. So suck it up. There's always something fun about it. Um, I'm going to meet a lot of her family. I've not met her family much before. I met a, like her mother's the only person I met of her family, I guess. So that'd be interesting. Um, that'd be fun. We're gonna do the rehearsal beforehand, so we kind of get all those awkward introductions and stuff out of the way. So it's one of those deals. That the fact that I'm damn near 40, and they're older than I am. Not nice to say a woman's age, but it's one of those deals. At this point in my life, I just I don't know. I can't imagine the fact of having to say, "Oh, I'm dating," or "My girlfriend." It's, it's such a horrible thing to say. So. I gotta figure out kind of how we're gonna introduce ourselves that into the whole process. So that's, I guess this one's about, is just the whole relationships as an adult. I mean, the long, the only real like, I mean, I met my wife, my 
my first wife in first grade. And it's one of those things we started dating just out of high school. We knew each other all through school off and on. And it's a totally different thing when you're 18 years old and you're dating as it is when you're 38 years old and you're dating. So it's just a whole different world in the process and the whole, just there's so much baggage everybody brings in with us because of how their ex has treated them, my ex treated me, so on and so forth, and all that kind of stuff. So definitely, um, I don't know, it's one of those things that it's gonna be an interesting weekend and go from there. And hopefully we're gonna be able to talk through a bunch of things and see how we interact with each other's family or well, how they interact with, how I interact with their family. So she's met um, a handful of my friends and a handful of my family in that, but not in a formal type setting like a wedding. So. It's always different, it's always awkward in that process, but that's all I got for right now. I guess the biggest tip of this one is just be willing to be selfless and be willing to step out and do something even though you don't want to, if it'll make them happy and just be there for them. Whether it be funerals or any kind of stuff, just be there to support the person that you're with, the person you love, and the person you care about. So that's all I got for right now. I uh, hope you guys have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.